hey there uh, welcome back uh, so in the last uh, playlist we built a uh, dan uh, gan generative uh, adversarial uh, networks a full stack application so in this playlist we are going to build a, a new application uh, i'm naming it as like you no know, digi board so it is nothing but like digital whiteboard so you see in our whole uh, school days you know we used to uh, see uh, teachers you know teaching on a whiteboard and uh, uh, then learning right so similar to that but this is a digital whiteboard where uh, we can uh, draw whatever the shape we want and write whatever we want and also collaboratively do the work on the same uh, whiteboard okay so enough talking so i will go to the application and showcase you uh, how it is going to look like and what is the end output so and uh, later on walk you through the uh, features that we are going to build part of this application okay so let me showcase you that so you see this is the application that we will be building in this playlist which is i'm naming it as dizzy board so which is a real time whiteboard okay so this is the uh, first uh, user interface page that we will be seeing uh, for this application so let's say like you know now i'm going to enter my username so if we have the room id we can click on the room id and join it okay if not we can just create a new room okay so now uh, i am going to create a new room so as soon as i create so this is the uh, home page that we will be seeing once we click on uh, the joining or creating the room okay so you see here there are three sections one is the toolbar so which is going to give us the uh, pencil and also the eraser and all the image insertions and selecting the color for the pencil and uh, increasing the uh, thickness of our uh, pencil and all those stuff so i'm going to showcase you those things so and in the right part you can see this is the mini board so which is going to help us navigate to the whole canvas uh, easily so this is going to help us like you know let's say like uh, so now you see this is the pencil so i have selected and uh, now now you see this is going to help us navigate over um, all our canvas so which you can say is like mini and navigator for our canvas okay fine so this is the toolbar and this is the mini um, white board which is going to help us navigate through our old canvas part and there is a uh, this button so which is going to enable us to like you know move through uh, all our uh, whiteboard okay so fine so after that so the very interesting part okay uh, before going on to the interesting part let me showcase you the uh, options we have in our toolbar okay so now i have selected the pencil so and the color we have selected is a black so there is a color section so which is going to uh, give us an option to select multiple colors or so the different color we want so now i'm going to select the red and so if i start uh, so let me deselect this and uh, let's start drawing so now you see the color of the pencil is changed to red so that is how we are going to uh, select the line color and also the fill color okay so fine now okay so the color option is done so now going to the thickness part so if you see the thickness of the uh, line that we are drawing is this one so now if i make it completely thick so let me draw that so you, you see clearly the change in the mm, thickness of our uh, line that we are drawing okay fine so now um, this part is done so there is an option again for us to draw whatever the shape we want so it's like flexible the way we wanted to but if we want to be specific that we want to draw a square a rectangle or circle there is an option for us for now i have added two shapes okay we can add more if you wanted okay so if after selecting this square so i'll be able to draw the shape i wanted to in this form similarly if i select the circle i can uh, just draw the circle okay fine so that is this option okay now uh, this is the eraser so we have uh, something assuming that you have uh, written something here and you don't want that you can just uh, 
it is uh, okay uh, let me change here so here let me erase this okay so this is how uh, we are going to erase the part which we don't want to be part of our whiteboard okay so this is the eraser for our whiteboard so fine, fine. now okay so after this there is a one more thing image picker so let's say that we wanted to insert some images to our whiteboard and making it more uh, informative on wanted to convey clearly some message okay so let's say okay so something i just wanted to i'll just import some image so this is the image assuming that we wanted to insert okay so we can uh, place it uh, in the location wherever we wanted in our whiteboard okay so let's say that i just want to be place here okay so once i wanted to place here clicking on this uh, tick mark it's going to be part of our whiteboard okay this is how we're going to import the images to our whiteboard okay fine so and there are a uh, multiple options here again so if you want to change the background of your whiteboard so now we have this white section so if you want this to be changed to this uh background we can change it clearly like this and if you want just white section we can change it this way okay fine and there is an option like uh, i'll come to this part okay fine and there is a download section so whatever you have uh, drew on this uh, whiteboard and wanted to download so clicking on this it's going to download whatever is there in the canvas in the form of the png file so clicking on this you see here uh, canvas.png it is downloaded and uh, if i open this file you will see it as an image okay fine uh, now going back and this is to log out out of this room okay fine and uh, there is an option for uh, undoing and redoing it okay so let me uh, click on this uh, undo part so clicking on this undo part the last part uh, the last action that we did was to insert an image so on clicking and undo it removed that part okay and there is a redo option so if i want the image back i can just do a redo option okay so these are the undo and redo sections okay fine uh, now uh, clearly the important part that i want to highlight as part of this application is the collaboration between multiple users and completing the work they wanted to okay so this is an option to uh, invite other users to this particular room okay uh, and uh, collaboratively uh, edit their canvas okay and once we have this URL we can copy it and uh, share it to the other users so they can get into this room okay so I'm going to show you that multiple collaboratively editing uh, the canvas part okay so we can copy this so just a second I'm going to show you that part okay so now if you see i have opened uh, two uh, uh, multi screens next to each other one with the user uh, so one username and another with another username okay so now if you see uh, so here the left screen you're seeing is the user test okay and the uh, right screen uh, you're seeing is the user kuluru okay fine so now let's say that i wanted to add something here so i've just added this you see the immediate reflection in the right side part so the other user so now same thing i'm going to edit here so you can see in the left part who is editing and in the right part that is where i'm editing and immediately you will see the reflection in the other user okay and also very interesting part here is we have a chart section okay let's say that you know you wanted to communicate something to the user and this is where we can uh, communicate to the particular user okay so let's say that you know i send here hi okay and you see immediately you see the reflection there is a new message in this chart section so if he opens this you will see from whom he received that message so from the user test he received that message and now i'm going to uh, say hi i am 
so on so so you see here so so let's say like you are collaborating on something and wanted to convey some message like you know draw this shape or draw in this manner and this is the uh, gist of what we're going to do and those communication can be clearly seen in this chart section okay so this is the major highlight part of uh, the collaboratively editing our white uh, dashboard and this is going to be a lot of uh, there is going to be a lot of learning and how are we going to accomplish this and what is the tech stack that will be building in you will be seeing and witnessing this building from scratch in the coming videos and i hope uh, it's going to be very interesting for you guys and you're going to learn a lot from it too so this is what i wanted to showcase and uh, i will be i think you'll be very interested to watch the coming videos where i'll be building the application from scratch thank you so much